What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there, too. And it's time to get this review started. All right, y'all. We are on season 19 of the Mahabharat. We're getting close to the end. I know, because, like, what is left? I mean... Now it's all about this war, right? This the season started out like the first episode it was finishing up the Krishna story, which we talked about from season 18 and it actually got when him and his uncle Khan's like was going head to head and he was doing the choke holes and everything and and then they you know he tried to put one over on the mom wanting them to get executed. Krishna stopped that. He put the bubble around his his parents up there. I was like, oh no, Khan, you ain't getting away with this stuff with the word Krishna. You ain't getting away. So we got to see that, to, you know, finishing up the story and, and Krishna defeating his uncle Khan's. But I mean, the major thing is like he was telling the story as, uh, um, you know, kind of a kind of for Draupadi, right? Wasn't that kind of the reason why he was telling this story? Because she, he had already told her like, only the Pandavas is going to survive this. Like her sons are not going to survive. This war is going to be something. And, and you got to make great sacrifices for the, the greater good. Just like he did. You know, he he put his life on the line. Taking on his Uncle Khan's. But it was for, like the greater good. And he got through because who shows up but the Uncle Virat. Which you know you got to love the Uncle Virat. He's always there to give the great advice and stuff. But I think he always, too, has like a good heart in there. Also, once, once you know, good versus evil on things. He also, but he's like in a spot. So he goes over there to Pandavas and kind of he went and Sanjay, both of them kind of went there to be like, can we, you know, avoid this war? Can we have some negotiations, some kind of peace talks or, or some kind of negotiation? So you know all these lives don't have to be slaughtered you know and because of war i mean i'm with them y'all know i'm always for peace i'm always for peace you know and they did agree they they were like you know lord krishna go over there be like our peace envoy go in there and talks but i'm gonna tell you krishna stories must have got through to Draupadi because they went and told her you know they're gonna negotiate for peace and Krishna and she was like why <laughs> I was like Draupadi you done change the your, your thoughts there she's like oh no we can't do, do peace now after they did they done started this war this war they kept saying this war done started the moment that Draupadi was in the court and and he was disrespecting her pulling her by the hair slapping her around trying to d disclose her that's when the war began this is just <sighs> I'm starting to get upset because you know I always get upset with the, the disrespect to Draupadi and the women and everything. But this is this is the thing. She's like, this is when that war began. Why are from peace? And and but you know, they always do the right thing. They're like, you know, is it's the the rulers, you know, uh duty to always, you know, try to go for peace first and, and they are always on their duties with stuff. So I can see, but also they send Lord Krishna. Because Lord Krishna ain't going to just, uh, you know, that's a good good envoy to have because he ain't just going to roll over. He's going to be there sending his messages. He's going to be there teaching the, that court a little thing or two that, that they let, you know, what they let happen in that court with your party. I was like, if anybody's best to be sending over there for this peace talks is to Krishna, the Lord Krishna. And I think Lord Krishna actually did his best. I was surprised. How old Lord Krishna was like uh, trying to make this peace happen. Like he was offering all this stuff. Well, how about this? How about this? Just do this. And all that mean prince. No. Like his little. He thinks, you know, he thinks he has it in the bag though. He thinks like, he don't, first of all, he don't even believe in the Lord Krishna. He don't even believe that's, that he's, you know, Lord Vishnu, you know, an avatar. He don't believe none of that. Everybody else is, but he's like, oh. And he's like, and then Krishna's going to be there. No no weapons. What good is he? Look who I have. I have all this army they gave me. All that, you know, the, the army from the Balaram. I, I got, you know, our, I, you know, I know that you got Arjun, but look who I have. I have, you know, Karn, you know, with the arrows. 
I got all these people, and we're going to have, I got Bishma. He, he thinks he has this in the bag. He's like, I got all this. So he's up there just rejecting it all, like, nah. And you know what? I, oh, I can't stand when he does. He wants to talk, and then he thinks he's smart. And he starts, ah, 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 ah. And with his laugh, oh, I just want to punch. <laughs> I can't fight. But when he starts doing that laugh, he'll be like this and be, ah, 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 oh. I start getting mad. I start yelling at him at the TV. Y'all know I do. I'm like, stop that laugh. Stop it. But he gets, he gets me mad when he does that little laugh because he's so arrogant and, and cocky and arrogant. And that's what's going to bring him down. That's what's going to bring him down because you know what? He thought too, he is so arrogant thinking he knows it all. He's like, oh, all these, remember there was like, all right, we, we ain't accepting all this. We ain't accepting all this. And then Krishna even like, just give him five towns. No. And he's like, and you know what? On top of it, I'm going to arrest you. He gets these guards in. They done collapse. Like they go unconscious. He still ain't believing. He still, he's like, he's like, well, I'm going to chain Lord Krishna up myself and, and, and go and lock him up. He puts those big old chains on him and everything. Puts him in the cellar. And then he starts going crazy. He starts first he sees his brother in Lord Krishna's place with the with the chains on and then everywhere he's looking he's seeing Krishna like every guard every everywhere he goes he's seeing Krishna I'm like this I'm like is this getting through your head is this making you realize <laughs> are you finally realizing that Lord Krishna avatar of Vishnu like the, the it's true he don't want to believe it and he keeps pushing this pushing this pushing this I'm like, he, he wants the war. He wants it. He's going to vow to kill Krishna. Like, you can kill the Lord Krishna. Lord. That's how arrogant he is. He thinks he, he's like, I'm going to kill. You ain't going to kill no Lord Krishna. You go. We know what happens to you. I already know what happens to you. You're going to get yours. So I'm just watching this whole time there. I'm like, keep on talking and thinking of arrogant stuff. We know what's going to happen. But I'll tell you one. One person, uh that I just want to see, I'm like, why can't, why can't Karn just realize? Everybody, everybody tells me, everybody tells me from the moment I first met Karn and, and they're like, oh no, like Karn, Karn, like he goes through a progression. I'm telling you by the end, you're gonna love Karn. I'm not loving Karn yet. I mean, I do love Karn. He's got a good heart, I think he, but he's still making the wrong choices. I, he still frustrates me. He still frustrates me with all this. I can't do it no more. Krishna tells him. Krishna tells him the truth. Like that's how much Krishna is trying to get through Karni. He tells him the truth. And I do feel bad. Oh, do you do feel bad for Karn? Your heart breaks for him. You know, he finds out the, that his parents like aren't his birth parents, on, uh, number one. You know, and then he finds out who his you know, mother really is. And he confronts the birth parents. And first that mom didn't want to tell him. She didn't want to tell him. She was like, where are your parents? No, like she did not want to tell him. The father, you know, and she had a little slip there and the father finally did it. So, I mean, I can feel, this is why too, you got to be honest with your kids. They hid that from them the whole time. You know, I'm, I have friends dealing with this too. They were real protective, didn't tell their kids certain things. Well, and then they grew up, they're adults now and saw, you know, that th your parents was lying to them. Like that's, that could affect somebody big time. Like that's a good lesson and something too. My kids ask me a question. I try to be as honest as I can with them because you break an honest, you break that trust with somebody. At least for me, you lie to me. I look, I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> I, that's one thing. I, it breaks trust. I already, I already have this barrier. Like you have to get through this barrier for me to trust you, but then you break it. Oh, you can forget about it. You can forget about it. So I can see they lied to him. I can see how it affects him like I that. I can see too why he's mad at the country. I can see why he's mad because, you know, but also he has to look at the perspective she was in. What was she going to do? She's going to tell all them that she had a kid before she got married. You know what? That, that She would have never became the queen, the queen mother. She would have never. I don't think none of that would have happened. So, like, on top of it, like, if she would have revealed this secret, that could have just ended her. I know that I'm just saying this is a tough position for her, too, where he could be a little understanding. But I understand that he's hurt now. I do. 
But still, after you know all this, Karn, you know this, you know this, is this your brothers? And that's what's hurting him, I feel, the most, too, right? He's like, uh, that he's going to have to fight his brothers. And he, he already swore that he ain't going to, uh, like, fight the, the three, but it's going to be between him and Arjun. And I'm like, no, this is not how it, why can't it be, why can't you be friends with Arjun? That's your brother, that's your little brother. You both got the skills. I don't understand it. And for what? But this mean prince? And this is the thing too with the mean prince. It's not like, you know, he's don't know what the mean princes did. It's not like he wasn't there when they was plotting to kill Kunti when she finds out his mother. You know, all all the brothers, all the Pandavas, the, the five brothers that they tried to, how many times they tried to kill them. Karn knows about this and, and now that he knows this is his mom and, and his brothers, he knows what that mean prince tried to do kill him all how many times and all the unrighteousness he did to his whole family and he's still gonna stick by his side i can't see it because you gave a vow well you know what things have changed you you didn't know about you know that this is your mom and your brother and what if i gave a vow to somebody and then you find out they're not a good person you gave a vow under false pro pretenses you think he was so good he look he made you the king uh, ang he did all this for you, so of course you're gonna vow your friendship, but then you find out he was not the person you thought he was. That's when I say you can be like, no, this friendship's ended. <laughs> so I, look, if it would be, and and I find out too that my friend tried to kill my brothers and my and my mom, this friendship's ended. Carl, why can't you end this friendship? I feel like he's he's suffering from the same kind of arrogance. And right now, I know, he, look, he's got a lot of emotions going through him. He's finding out stuff he never even knew. I can, I, listen, I feel for you, Karn, but still, you can see where the right is. This is the Lord Krishna telling you, too. He's telling you why you're not following your Lord. Just the whole time of Karn, I'm just like, Karn, Why? And then it just, I kept going back. I'm like, and people say, you know, Karn, but at the end, look, he's going to become, I love Karn. He's my favorite. He's my favorite at the end. He ain't my favorite yet. Not to let, Karn needs to see clearly. <laughs> Karn needs to, <sighs> am I still have time? Do I still have time that, look, I'm going to like Karn by the end. We'll see. We'll see. Because I only have like nine episodes or seasons left and we're going to be getting through them. I'm going to be watching them because, look, I'm hooked. All right, y'all? Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. And until next time, mwah.